this is one of my favorite vineyards. Uh, what kind of wine do you produce? Is red, white? The tradition in the area is white wine. When you have a vineyard on the hillside, you have a perfect drainage, so the, uh, the plants will never have too much, too much water. water. Yeah. And that's why normally the best wine is always from a hillside. So this must be one of the toughest places in Italy to grow. Well, yes, it goes in this uh, category, which is called uh, the heroic winemaking, because here we have to do everything by hand. You cannot go with a tractor. But you seem happy. <laughs> the vineyard, the sea, Vanazza, this environment. You got everything. I like it. I, I like to have plants in my hands. All right. So, and I like talking with the plants and you try... You talk to the plants? Uh, yes, I talk to the plants. You have and to well, tell do, you. do they reply? Uh, yeah, well, you how, Paula? How are you doing today? You're not supposed to be like this. You should be more like this, you know, so everything has to be in order and okay. so on. You haven't drunk any wine? No, 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 no. Uh, just so we talk, hello. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Does uh, Bartolo do anything? I've never seen him work. He <laughs> can talk a lot. Well... <laughs> See, I knew it, I knew it. Should we go to the bar? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna cook you one of my favorite desserts ever. Wow. Come yeah. with me. Yes. You and Bartolo are in for a treat. I'm putting a twist on an Italian classic with my lemon tiramisu. I know it's not a classic, the classic one we'll have the espresso, but believe you me, there still is a lot of people who don't like coffee. So I came up with the uh, limoncello tiramisu and it's much more delicate. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is the separation of the eggs. I'll break the whole egg into the bowls like this. And then gently, you pick them up, you run them through the fingers so the yolk is perfect and it goes straight on one bowl. So once we separate the eggs, just whip the egg whites, okay? Very important to do the egg white first because if the whisk is dirty, the egg white is not gonna be nice and stiff. As soon as it starts to foam, add half of the sugar. So really what you're trying to do is to create like a meringue effect. Perfect. I'm happy and this is what I want. Look at that, that shiny, nice and fluffy. You know when it's ready if you can do that, okay? Whisk the rest of the sugar with the egg yolks until they go nice and pale. Okay, this is nearly done. Can you see how it's changing into a pale color? That's what's happened when you put the sugar. Now mascarpone cheese straight into the egg yolk. You could use other soft cheese, but trust me, the mascarpone is the one that every Italian would use. Whisk goes in there. Now do it slowly, don't overdo it. You just want to blend three ingredients together. And the job is done. Now at this point, what I go? Beautiful lemon. So get the zest, go straight in. This is gonna give a nice natural freshness to the tiramisu. Now, what do we do? The lemon, cut in a half. I got a little tray here with cold water. Get the lemon and just squeeze it. Don't worry about peeps or anything like that. Carefully fold the egg white into the yolk mixture in three stages. Try not to lose any air. So basically this is done from start to finish. Probably it's gonna take eight to 10 minutes. Okay, now the next step is to uh, prepare the dipping for the biscuits. So remember here we got cold water, freshly squeezed lemon juice, limoncello goes straight in. I like that. Place a first layer of the lemon mixture in serving glasses as a base. And then what you need is Savoyardi biscuit. So you get your biscuit that goes in there. One, two, lift it up. You break it in a half like that, and that's going to be the base of your tiramisu. Repeat the layers and finish with a dollop of cream on top and place in the fridge to set. Okay, so this has been in the fridge for three hours. See, nice and set, doesn't move. Get another lemon, and I want you to grate some fresh lemon zest on top, just to give it that extra freshness. That's it. One, two, and three. This is how you do it. A limoncello and lemon tiramisu. Hey, Lisa. Hey. This is where your limoncello is gone. Oh, one for you. So good. One Even for, for me. you, sir. Oh, yes. 
It should be nice and delicate, a nice fluffy cream. It's very, very nice. I mm. think it's going to be my hit for this summer. <laughs> I'll leave you the recipe. So, Bartolo, what are we drinking here? We are going to drink this chacetra. This is a dessert wine. Ragazzi, salute, eh? Salute. 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 Auguri. Grazie, auguri, auguri, auguri. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. The only problem with this, you get hammered very, very quickly. <laughs> Di nuovo. Salute. Di nuovo, salute. salute.